in this episode of The Other Siders. The team looks into claims of the paranormal at a recently abandoned sawmill. What was that? Reports of grisly deaths and strange happenings stalk this mountain timberland. This is hot right here. Like somebody was just sitting here. Is the team barking up the wrong tree with this investigation? Or can they determine these stories are seated in truth and deem this lumber mill to be haunted? You are here with us. Could you give us a sign? Oh my God. Paranormal world is a freaky place. It's good to have some cool friends to hang out with while investigating. So what are we looking at this week? We have the Imperial Historic Cemetery. What are the reports? There are reports of weird colorful lights and apparitions. Colorful lights, that's different. I don't know if it means like orbs or flashes of light, but it'd be cool. Yeah. All right, we have the Camino Sawmill. That's pretty cool. There have been reports of unexplained noises and voices and machines turning on and off by themselves. Some good reports. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's pick one. Well, I feel like we've done a cemetery before and we've done nothing like a sawmill before. That's true. That's true. And I feel like the sawmill has more credible reports. That's yeah. true. All right, so this week we're going to investigate the Camino sawmill. All right, so, let's figure out a plan. After we decide on a location, we do some more research and make a plan for our investigation. According to the research, this place was recently shut down and we'll be the first paranormal investigators to go in since it's been abandoned. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so it says here, there's a report about an electrician who was just doing his work in the furnace and then mysteriously got electrocuted and died right there on the spot. Wow. Yeah, so maybe that could be one of the causes of the paranormal activity. There's also this three-story conveyor belt and this worker just fell to his death off of it and just died. Really? Not only was he just a worker though, he was the manager of the sawmill. Don't you think he would know his way around the whole place? Maybe an aggressive paranormal force? Maybe. All right, well, let's make like a saw and cut out. When we go out and investigate, we need all of our equipment. We need the voice recorder for call and response, the EMF detector, digital cameras, and the thermal camera in hopes of collecting paranormal evidence. All right, guys, so we're about to pull into the Camino sawmill. All the deaths from Jackie's research are basically just brutal. One guy was actually killed in a machine while trying to fix it. Yeah, the wood chipper. And it turned on by itself and chipped him to death. That is really weird. Yeah, there were a lot of gruesome deaths here. Whoa. When it was up and running, it probably had, you know, so much going on. This looks really abandoned. I know. I guys get the gear. Very dark. All right, you guys want to get set up? Yeah. All right, let's go. Here are our walkie-talkies. Zach passes out our headlamps, locator beacons, and our walkies, and then we set up remote cameras to the places with the most reports of paranormal activity. So we have cameras set up in the conveyor belt, the furnace, the wood chipper, and the saw room. Let's start off with some sweeps. Yeah. I want to go to the furnace. Maybe we can capture any type of evidence of the electrician. I really wanted to see that too, so I think I'm going to go with you. Sam and I are going to investigate the furnace, where the paranormal reports are shadows and strange noises. I think I'm going to bring the voice recorder so we can try to capture some EVPs. And also, I think I want to bring the tri-field meter. Yeah, it's a good idea. To the tri-field meter detects disturbances in electromagnetic fields. And since it's said that spirits can create or alter those electromagnetic fields, we use it to try and find them. All right, let's go. OK. All right. It kind 
ever remind you of like a crematorium? Yeah, in the morgue. Are you picking anything up on the thermal camera? Nope. This place has a lot of different temperatures just because of all the random stuff in here. Yeah. The thermal camera reads the surrounding temperature. And since paranormal activity can take the form of a hot or cold spot, it helps us pick that up. Wait, whoa, wait, what? what? Is... Here, let me look. Oh, it's hot in there. It is? Yeah, look at that. Don't you think it's a little bit weird? Inside's hot, but there's no fire or anything. But I feel like if it was fire, it would be way hotter than that. That's true. Oh, is that a big electrical panel? Looks like it. Maybe that's where the electrician died. I think this is where he got electrocuted. So, I think we should go dark and do some call and response. Yeah, that's a good idea. Is anybody here? If you are here with us, could you give us a sign? Can you maybe turn on a machine? Oh my god. So, I think we should go dark and do some call and response. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sam and I are investigating the furnace, where the paranormal reports are shadows and strange noises. Can you maybe turn on a machine? Oh my god. Did you hear that? Did you hear that noise over here? Yeah. From the other side of the sawmill, it sounds like a machine is turning on. Are you the electrician? Jackie to base camp. Go for base. Did you guys hear anything just now? No, we didn't hear anything. Why, what's up? It sounded like kind of in the distance there was a noise. The reports are hearing strange noises. Exactly. Yeah. It kind of sounded like something like switched on. Yeah, that's really weird because we didn't hear or see anything on the cameras. We should leave the tri-field meter here with the voice recorder next to it and listen back to that for audio evidence. Yeah. So Jackie and I are in the furnace and it was really eerie during call and response. Hopefully we picked up something on our voice recorder, but we finished our sweep and headed back to base camp. Hey guys, did you guys see anything weird on the monitor? Absolutely no. nothing. Yeah, not at all. Out on our sweep to the furnace, we were doing call and response, and I said, hey, if you're the electrician, can you maybe turn on a machine? It just sounded like something switched on. Well, that's just weird that it came right after that question. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so hopefully when we review that, we got something. So who wants to go out next? I actually want to go back out and set up a remote camera in the tunnels because we don't have a camera that can cable there. I have to go to the underground tunnel to set up a remote camera because there have been paranormal reports of strange moaning. All right, so Casey and I are going to go check out the conveyor belt. The paranormal reports in the three-story conveyor belt are equipment turning on and off by itself, strange noises, and it's also the site where a worker fell to his death. Let's okay. go. is right this is where the guy fell to his death let's do some con response if there's anybody here with us we mean no harm 
They come with good intentions. Could you please show us a sign that you're here with us? Do you smell that? Like really potent. I get, I get. It doesn't smell good. Yeah, I don't know. It just smelled like burning sawdust. Could you tell us how you fell? That was you who made that noise. Can you do it again? Riley and I were at the three-story conveyor belt, just investigating around, and we hear what sounds like wood falling down and like hitting each piece of equipment. And we're looking down, and we don't see anything. I'm not picking up anything on the thermal camera. Smell went away. You notice that? Like, what did it even smell like? I, like, I've no, I've never smelled that before. Okay, well, we did a pretty good sweep. I think we got as much as we could. And we should head back to base camp. Okay. I had to go set up a remote camera in the tunnel because there have been paranormal reports of weird moaning. And we wanted to capture any evidence of that. While I'm climbing down the ladder into the underground tunnel, I'm thinking, wow, this place is old, dark, smelly, and I can't believe I'm doing this. It's pretty nasty down here. I was thinking, I just want to set up this camera as soon as possible and get out of there. I was walking back to base camp from the tunnel when I pass the furnace room and I hear the tri-field meter going off like crazy. Track your base camp. Go for base. The tri-field meter is going off like crazy. Don't forget that the reports in the uh, furnace are shadows and weird noises, so look out for that. If you're the electrician, can you give me a sign? Is there anybody here? What's your name? I didn't hear anything during call and response, so I decided to go back to base. And if we caught anything on our voice recorders, we'll find out back at headquarters. Okay, so on my sweep, I had to go to the tunnel, but then when I go back in the furnace, the tri-field meter, it's going crazy. Our tri-field meter kept going off, and I think it could have something to do with the electrician that died there. The tri-field meter detects changes in the electromagnetic field, and he was an electrician. So maybe that's another way he haunts this mill. Through electricity. Yeah, because yeah, that's like his job. He's trying to let us know that he's there. So that's a good point. Yeah. In the saw room, we heard something like wood falling. Yeah, like if someone dropped wood and it just like, you know, just went down yeah. the metal down. and then we started smelling i don't know what it was i can't really give like a name. really powerful like we both like stopped and we're like, no but it like that. was not there and all of a sudden it was like overwhelming and like like you didn't want to breathe in and then it just went away and then it just went away all right guys let's get back out there yeah all right so zach and i are going to go head over to the wood chipper okay let's go zach and i are going to investigate the wood chipper where the paranormal reports are dangerous equipment turning on and off by themselves a few decades ago the wood chipper operator turned the wood chipper off climbed inside to repair it when suddenly it turned on by itself and chipped him into a million little pieces his death may be one of the reasons for paranormal activity here at the sawmill Getting anything on the thermal camera? 
Not really. I think we're at the wood chipper. Yeah. So this is where that guy was operating it and turned it off, went to go make some repairs, and it turned on, right? Just randomly? Yeah. See how someone could get chopped up in here. Do you want to do some call and response? Yeah, yeah. Do you work here? Can you turn on the wood chipper? Getting anything on the thermal camera? What is this? This is hot right here. Like somebody was just sitting here. So Zach and I are investigating the wood chipper and I'm looking around with the thermal camera when all of a sudden I notice this really huge hot spot right on the chair next to the wood chipper controls. What is this? This is hot right here. Like somebody was just sitting here. It doesn't feel hot. It's weird. I think maybe it's a residual haunting. Zach for base camp. Go for base. So we found this little stool where the guy used to operate the machine and the seat's like hot on the thermal camera. No, that's so creepy. Because like that totally could be a residual haunting. That's really bizarre. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. I must have just been sitting down there. Wait, so you caught it on the thermal camera? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's going to be a cool piece of evidence to go over. I think we captured some great evidence with the thermal camera, but we're going to have to look at it more thoroughly at headquarters. What's that? Okay. It, was, it was pretty weird. I mean, there's like the wood chipper thing, and then there was like a control panel right next to it with like a seat. Yeah. And right after we were done doing call and response, I looked at the thermal camera, and I was pointing at the seat, and the seat was hot. And this was like right next to the control to turn on the wood chipper. All right, guys. Well, it's been a pretty long night, and hopefully we did capture enough evidence for us to go over. But I think we should pack up and head back. After every investigation, we meet at headquarters to begin looking through our footage in hopes of finding paranormal evidence. I was going through the photos, and I think we may have caught an orb over by the conveyor belt. Whoa. See it? It's Whoa. right there. This is actually where the guy fell off the conveyor belt and died. Okay, wait, what are we looking at? We're looking at that, right? But it's so small, and it kind of looks a little blurry. Don't you think these show up in our photos a lot of the time, too? Yeah, but then again, we take so many photos, and these only show up in just a few. True. I think it looks like dust. Yeah, I, just, I don't feel like there's enough there to support that idea. I can't say that that's like a big ball of energy and light. And also, there's a lot of dust in that room. Like, I don't think it's credible. And I don't think it's credible either. This next picture was taken near the saw room. It's pretty interesting. Check it out. Whoa. Yeah. I think it's an infrared light. And infrared means less than red, and it's a longer wavelength. So it'd show up pinkish, and that's exactly what it looks like right there. And whenever I see an infrared light on a camera or in a picture or anything, it looks exactly like that. So that's what I think we have there. So it's the IR light yeah sam's explanation kind of does it for me that's not credible when zach and i took our sweep to the chipper i took along the thermal camera this is hot right here this is the video i caught with it take a look right there is the seat and then right above there are the controls like somebody was trying to control the wood chipper yeah oh my gosh it definitely looks like somebody was sitting there and none of you guys were sitting in the chair no and we weren't even doing call and response near it we were over by the wood chipper yeah, I can't find any explanation for that, so I think it's credible. Yeah, same with me. Definitely think it's credible. I think it's credible. I think that that's definitely strange and interesting, but I'm not sure if I can call that credible. But there was nobody there with us. 
I know, but I just, I don't know, it just, I, I feel like there's not enough there for me to think that that could be a residual haunting or something. So I, I can't call that credible. Fair enough. Casey and I went to the conveyor belt and it was pretty freaky up there. We I mean, smelled like something really strange. Yeah, like a really, like, musty kind of smell came. Do you smell that? Like, really potent. Like it, like it. It doesn't smell good. It just kind of, like, overcame us. We, like, noticed, we're like, that smells really bad and it just, like, went away really quickly. That was really weird. All right, we've looked at all of our evidence. We talked about our experiences. It's time to come to a conclusion. Do we think the Camino sawmill is haunted or not? Zach? The only real experience I had throughout the night was with me and Sam, and I did call that credible, but then going over the rest of the evidence, it just wasn't very convincing for me. And altogether, I don't think the Camino sawmill was haunted. I think a lot of the evidence that we captured, in my opinion, can't be explained. Like, the thermal camera footage, the, uh, the tri-field meter going off, and my experience with Riley, I can't explain, so I'm gonna call this place haunted. I think some of the evidence we captured is credible, but not enough to make me call this place haunted. Like Zach said, the only paranormal experience I had was when we were at the wood chipper, and the evidence really didn't do anything for me, so I'm gonna say that this place is not haunted. Thinking back throughout the entire investigation, the only thing that I can recall that was a little freaky was when I was with Casey up in the conveyor belt. But other than that, the night was pretty normal. Therefore, I think that this place is not haunted. So that makes our final verdict that the Camino Sawmill is not haunted. I'll put our evidence online so people can look at it for themselves and see if they think the Camino Sawmill is haunted or not. The three-story conveyor belt was strange, and Sam's footage on the thermal camera was interesting, but it just didn't do it for me. I don't think the Camino Sawmill is haunted. Out of everybody, I'm the only one to call the Camino Sawmill haunted. Could you tell us how you fell? Mm -hmm. And I stand by my decision. Casey's the only one who thinks the sawmill's haunted. What's going on in her head?